Wisconsin and a global evacuation of its volunteers, 7,000 of them. 62 years after President John F. Kennedy created it, 240,000 Americans have joined this unique service, dedicating their talents to 142 countries. Rockland's Alana Lopez-Cohen is one of the volunteers helping the Peace Corps re-enter some of the places the pandemic forced it to leave. I'm also live now with Anastasia Banakova, a Peace Corps recruiter. Ladies, good morning to you. Hi there. Alana, you're from Rockland, you're a cow bear. Why the Peace Corps? Where does that come from? Well, uh, I've always been interested in, in community service, public service, uh, traveling, and I always am interested in uh, cross-cultural learning. So I studied development studies at UC Berkeley. So we learned about development theory, the history of development, and I really wanted to apply my studies on a in a hands-on experience. So mm -hmm. the Peace Corps was that perfect opportunity. <laughs> we have lived in, you've lived in Columbia before. We have some pictures of you there. As you just mentioned, you major in development studies at UC Berkeley. How do you hope to use what you have learned focusing on economic development in what is the fifth largest Latin American country? Uh, well, I just, again, hope to help uplift local community members in topics related to um, entrepreneurship, uh, business advising, as well as uh, my personal um, money management. Mm -hmm. So in our first three months uh, with the Peace Corps, we will be training in Barranquilla in Colombia. So again, we will learn some of those tools to uh, collaborate with local leaders in our communities in Colombia, um, so we'll be able to apply, again, I'll be able to apply some of the theory I learned at wow. UC Berkeley with practical experience. All righty. And Anastasia, what's it been like finding people like Alana and kind of reestablishing connection with all of these countries after the pandemic? You're back in 53 of the 58 countries where you're recruiting. Leaving must have been so devastating. It was. I was actually one of the evacuated volunteers uh, from over 60 countries in March 2020. We all had to pack our bags and leave fairly quickly before the flights got canceled. So in the past two years, this was, uh, again, devastating yet exciting opportunity to recruit uh, candidates like Alana. We love to have people with various backgrounds. Uh, the main a requirement is to be a U.S. citizen at least 18 years old, there is no age limit, and to have a bachelor degree or five years of applic applicable experience. And so we really uh, love those candidates with uh, diverse experiences, skills. Uh, we love people uh, from diverse backgrounds in order to reflect the diversity of the United States. Mm -hmm. And so this is definitely an exciting time for returning to service. Anastasia, I'm sure a lot of our viewers are hearing us talk about the Peace Corps and they're thinking, wasn't that a thing in the 70s? That still exists. You must get that reaction a lot. I do. Uh, when I'm at the career fairs, people stop by and say, what? Peace Corps is still around? And I say, yes. And again, we accept everybody. There is no age limit. We accept couples. We accept same-sex couples in some countries. Again, um, uh, yeah, it's... <laughs> The misconception is still here, but this is my job to make sure that people are aware and um, to think about uh, Peace Corps service in the future. Must be exciting, though, when you do get to share that this is still a very, very active organization. Absolutely. I'm myself a product of Peace Corps. I'm an immigrant from Kazakhstan. I'm a naturalized American citizen. And when I was growing up as a teenager, I had a Peace Corps volunteer teacher who taught me English. So I'm definitely have been on the other side of, of the mirror here. And this is why I'm a, I'm a triple, <laughs> triple fan, I guess. <laughs> yes, it has come full circle for you. And Alana, when will you have boots on the ground in Colombia? How long will you be gone? And for as much as you hope to do for the people there, what lessons do you think you'll return with? So I leave in about a week, next Saturday, April 22nd. Then we have three months of training and then we have moved to our post. So that will be in the, on the Caribbean coast or in the Andean region of Colombia. And there we serve for 24 months, so two years. Uh, and again, as I, I have lived in Colombia previously and it's such a warm and welcoming uh, country with amazing people and culture. So I think what they can 
teach me when I when I come back home, I can return to the United States uh, with an, a more open mind, uh, flexibility and, and patience above all. All righty, ladies, thank you so much for joining us this morning. So exciting that the Peace Corps is getting back on track and able to redeploy volunteers to all of these regions that the need didn't end during the pandemic, just the virus was keeping the work from getting done in the way that it had in the past. And now that will be part of the past. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Of course. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you.